In this video I will be showing you how to troubleshoot sending faxes on your Xerox device. You will want to start by logging in as administrator. After you are logged in, enter the fax app. If you are sending to an old fax and it won't complete, it is possible the receiver is too slow to receive your fax. To fix this, you will want to slow the starting rate to G3. Try to send a fax using G3. If the G3 rate does not work, try it again using forced 4800. If forced 4800 does not work, we will change a few settings. Go back to your home screen and go to Device, Tools, App Settings, Fax App, Outgoing Fax Defaults. In Outgoing Fax Defaults, change redial time interval to 1 and redial attempts to 14. If you are still having issues, I would recommend turning up the fax volume. You will want to listen to machine when sending a fax. You should hear it dial out, and receive the fax tone from the receiver. Try to send a fax with the new settings. Under the fax app settings, you will want to check if your fax number is correct. If it is not correct, change it, and then select next and reboot the machine. Also make sure it is set to send and receive. You should also try calling your fax line on your cell phone. When you call the number, you should hear fax tone noises like the following. If it does not pick up, you will want to reach out to your phone provider. If you are still having issues, it could be an issue with the software on the device. I would recommend updating to the latest level, and then test again. You can test the fax board by sending a fax to 0000. The machine should print a report that gives a pass or fail. Remember to check the physical fax cable, and make sure it is plugged in on both ends. You can log in as administrator and perform a software restart on the machine, which is similar to a reboot. It is under Device, Tools, Troubleshooting, Resets, Software Restart. Sometimes when you send a fax you need to put a 1 or a 9 in front of it. In addition, it is possible you will need to have a dial pause or pulse tone. You will want to reach out to your phone carrier to find out how you should correctly dial. 